Hi guys, um, the drama has been going all night with all that skate park thingy. It seems like a lot of them want me back. That's going to be uncertain conditions if that's going to happen. Um, we're heading out to my parents now because we need to fix something for my dad in the bathroom. They have a, a, a tub, but my dad can't lift his leg into it because he's got like hip problems as well. But he's one of those who's like, like me and Paul and everything, like in one shower once every day. Um, that's like one of the things he always wanted to do. Um, so I have to like, make so make like a board where he can like sit on and scoot his leg over the sideways. So we're going to do that now, um, and then we'll come back. I want to try and see if I can find my chili seeds and have those planted in there. And then I need to fix this battery. This is for the drones we have. That scoot out board, and I don't think he just yanked it out and snapped the cable and the plug. But I have extra plugs of these, so I'll try and test to see if I can fix it for him. But uh, yeah. When I told you sometimes that my mum and dad are hoarders, I'm trying to find tools now to make the seat for my dad to use in the top. This is my dad's workshop. See? I haven't got any numbers on how many times I tried to clear this. Um, this is like an extra house. Mum and dad's house is on the other side of the yard. Over there, maybe you can see it. Over there, behind that. And this here is like an extra building. Um, this part of it is not insulated, the other side is. That used to be my old room. My mom and dad changed another color, awful color. And in here, I used to have my room here until I moved from home. It was nice to have my own little house. Uh, and I tried all the time to clear out there. And then when I moved away from home, we thought it was gonna be a nice guest room. Mom and dad even bought like a little sofa to put in here. And then this happened. Big clumsy freezer. Piled up stuff everywhere. Yep, my mum and dad in a nutshell. So if you guys now sound kind of like, um, and that's not here, they also have another shed loaded with stuff, another shed loaded with stuff, uh, full attic loaded with stuff. It's just continuous. Um, so if you guys wondering um, how on earth, why or why I definitely um, always keep my um, environment around me, Simple and tidy because I just had enough of all this. Um, I'm trying to go around and find some sandpaper because my dad's he's having a wooden seat. Um, I'm making it out of wood, but um, trying to find anything in here. It's like a needle in a haystack. You have to like climb over, and you're always scared of getting your legs stuck in something which is gonna hurt the crap out of you. Um, yeah, I and mean, my dad's not feeling very good today. He's actually going back to hospital. He's been pretty been put in because um, he's like all oh, oh I don't like anything so I'm trying to finish the seats as soon as I can so he can have that have a shower and then he goes straight to the hospital he don't want to shower at the hospital he want a shower before he goes my dad's like very uh, obsessed about being clean which is weird when you see all this isn't it uh, complete two opposites my dad got so many tools it's, it's unbelievable he's got so much stuff and they also they usually come and say well half of the stuff here is yours no way, I haven't owned this much, much tools any time in my life. Um, I don't want to own that much. I know that this is mine from a scooter I had, which I'd never bothered to finish. Um, which is sad because it was a cool scooter, it would have been nice to have it. Um, well, that's about it. I need to find a sander. I have an electric sander, but I only got like one sanding disc for it, and that's not gonna go anywhere because it's just like a, a grain 250, which is such a thin grain, really sucks. And um, then a uh, newspaper kid came around here in the car, his mum drove him today, I guess. Um, having Runya and Sally out here, Runya straight over, bark, and the kid got scared, of course. And because Runya barks like that, Sally has to do it. So I kicked them both inside, that naughty behavior. But it will not have it, Runya is just uncontrollable. That's gonna be the biggest issue with my mum and dad moving from here. Um, because they're gonna move up to a place where there's like neighbors and stuff. I wonder how that's gonna go with Runya when she can't control herself. She's always barking at anything. Um, I know they love Runya, but I'd say worst case scenario, that's where they like had to think, okay, she has to go. Wish my dad would have some sort of sense of order in his things. And my dad's like one of those people. Why have one of each thing when you can have two or three? I'm sure when we go out here, we'll find stuff that dad has like tons of already, like two or three, four of. 
he never uses anymore. I mean, go out and buy a kit like this because yes, he definitely need it. And he probably used it once or twice. See, those are not even being released yet. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna try and see if I can find something to like finish off this seat for my dad because he needs it. I just hope he'll be all right. Um, I don't like the fact he's going to hospital all the time and they don't, they don't seem to know what's wrong with him. So just come back to the hospital. Get back there, nothing being done. See, I can't even open the closet here to try and, that was my old wardrobe. Scooter check. <laughs> Not really guys. We're out walking the puppies and I stopped right here because there's basically no wind right here now. Sally's there. Hello. And Rania's up there. And then uh, Paul is all the way down there on the bench. I thought I'd take the scooter. Um, I'm done leaving them out in the skate park because sometimes I come out there I can see someone's been using them. And uh, I haven't paid so much for the scooter. Um, I had the bar for free from a friend, Nikolai. Uh, and I had the deck from a guy called uh, Christopher. Also a good friend of mine. He's the one who could do a flare. Um, and then the clamp, the wheels, and the headset and the fork, which is a Tilt Legacy. And the grips, added grips, I purchased that myself, but I didn't pay any money for it, like a joke. It's about, I think I paid a hundred euro for that, and that's basically just what my fork costs alone, so, yeah, that's kind of crazy. My dad is going to be uh, taken to the hospital. Um, I made the seat for him in the shower, and now he's had a quick shower and going up there. Um, ugh, dog turd right there. Mum taking him to the hospital. Um, they want to try and figure out everything like he's been going in and out of hospital since November when he uh, got admitted and we nearly lost him ever since then he's been going back and forth back and forth all the time uh, so uh, yeah I hope they can find out what's wrong with him because I mean daddy's only like what 60 67 or 65 I can't remember exactly my dad's age but he's still got a lot of life in him uh, he should get much older and my mum is also getting really tired because she's like having to do everything um, they are looking for a new place to live going to look for what we call a Reikehus which means the semi-detached house uh, and they need to move away and they need to get a whole lot clear me and my sister are both going to take a week off uh, to help my mum and dad sort out everything figure out what's worth money and figure out what's not worth anything Then what's worth something we will sell and then what's not worth something We will just um ch chuck And just get around then my mum and dad have to figure out whatever they want to keep But they have to get rid of a lot of stuff. They have so much stuff guys. It's amazing But anyways uh, Rolling back. It's a nice afternoon. Look beautiful sunset But I'll catch you guys when we come back home, because I'm getting low on battery. <laughs> you guys remember when we lived out here and this was our local store? <laughs> I'm glad we don't live this that far out anymore. Um, but it's all been refurbished inside, I haven't seen that, so I'm looking forward to see it. But this is also the town where I went to school, it's called Flagibia. I hated the school, didn't like it very much. Then I got moved to another one called Delmos, I didn't like that one much either. I hope you don't get the impression I didn't like school, but I basically didn't. <laughs> Evening guys, <clears throat> just been playing a little bit of Candle Strike and playing on Christian's account, um, trying to get him out of Silver 1. I don't know why or how, but Christian has been playing. He only got like 40 wins in that account and he's been playing basically as good as me, but he can't get out of Silver 1. It's so freaking weird. Um, I'm going to a meeting on Saturday with all the guys from the skate park and um, they want to like have a way. What happens since you like fucking suddenly want to leave? Um, and I will tell them, there's a certain brat out there which is always pissing me off and he's so good at it. Um, <clears throat> and I said like, um, he's like one of these kinds of like, he starts bullying and he just never, he can't stop. He's not bullying me but he's bullying other kids but the way he's just suddenly acting and then he's like writing shit. He's acting so fucking cool, I hate that little twat. Um, and I will say to the, um, the people in the skate park, if they want me to come back, the days I'm there, He's not getting in, um, so I don't care if it's going all the way from the end of the world and and meeting up and oh, I'm doing so far. No fucking way. I'm not having you in my skate park when I'm there. So yeah, or in the skate park when I'm there. It's not my skate park. Because um, <clears throat> I did like being out there. I did like 
I've seen the kids out there, and the kids like me. Um, so still, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen after Saturday. Um, but anyways, um, I'm about to go to bed now. I want to have a little quick shower first because I've been at my parents and they've been smoking. Um, my mum called me and said my dad's in the hospital, but he's fine. Um, he's like all ready and everything, like been in a nice fresh bed and everything. Um, yeah, so um, I'm just going to be um, uh, shutting everything down now and then I'm going to have... Um, a shower and then go to bed. Um, tomorrow, Paul and I's plan. We're gonna Hoover and clean the apartment. It's getting dusty and rare because they do like um, they put all the tiles down out here, and that's getting super dusty. So we have to sort the inside of the apartment out here. And then we want to do something else. We also want to start applying for the new car um, because Paul can like apply for handicap car. We'll see. I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. Stay awesome, everyone. As always, look after yourself and thank you for watching. Peace, guys. Oh, pussy!